What's up guys? We are uh, Zach and Jose from The Word Alive What's and we're going to show you guys our rig rundown. Me and Zach both have two guitars in the store. Um, they're essentially set to one core tuning and then we're using our, our uh, quad cortex which we'll get to in a second to shift us. So this is my main guitar. It's a Music Man Valentine. Uh, it's like a 2020 when they're still doing the Saturn Gold. I had it retrofitted for an Evertune, which is the best thing in the world. I love the Evertune. Fishman Willie Adler pickups in it. We just started working with Fishman. Uh, they got used a bunch on our new record, and we just love how they sound. So they're kind enough. Uh, thank you, Ken, for sending some pickups out to us. I do switch through pickup settings a lot. Um, we're playing, I mean, the band's been a band for 15 years, seven records, so I need to cover a lot of ground from like rock tones, clean tones, like straight up metal stuff. So um, between, you know, um, the passive and active sort of switch voicing um, and then the coil tapping, I can get all those different tones with the quad cortex as well. So I'm playing Ernie Ball, uh, not even the Slinkies, they're the Paradigms though, because I play hard and I break strings a lot. Yeah, you know, kind of lower action. Um, back to Roasted Maple Neck, locking tuners. I tune this to drop B, and then I use our Neural DSP Quad Cortex to shift depending on the song. We go from drop B in this set all the way down to uh, drop G sharp, I think is the lowest. Um, and again, I'm just using this one guitar primarily and shifting around and it works great. No real latency. Uh, at the beginning of the tour, we st were, this was in drop A sharp and I would shift up for the B songs, but I noticed that it would get kind of artifacty and lose low end, so we found that if we just tune higher and then shift uh, below for everything, it sounds better. The other guitar that I have uh, out on this tour is my trusty Fano JM6 standard. I've had this since like 20... 18, I think, uh, and it has been on pretty much every tour with me that I have done. These come from the factory, Distress, they have this uh, finish checking, but all of this wear is just for me actually playing the guitar and stuff, so this is one of my favorite instruments that I own, and uh, I will say it's probably going to get rotated out after this tour for something that fits the sound of the band a bit better, uh, because it's they're like PAF style pickups, it's not really... Uh, it works great for the rock tones, but as far as like playing a song of 2012, it doesn't really get there uh, too easy. So, but yeah, I love this thing. This guitar just has the stock pickups in it because I'm I'm taking this guitar off the road after this tour, and um, the other guitar that I'm going to put in will have Fishman influences, probably the Willie Adler's, just like the other guitar. So I'll have a true backup. Right now, I'm only playing this if I say like I break a string or something like that, and I have to switch. Pretty much 99% of the shows I'm on the Music Man Valentine. So. Um... I'll go ahead and go with the main guitar I've been playing first. Uh, this is a Ibanez Prestige RGD six string baritone, which is uh, actually pretty rare. Um, I have an Aftermath and a Juggernaut uh, from Bare Knuckle. Um, I, we, you know, we just uh, we just signed with Fishman and everything, um, so I haven't gotten a chance to switch these out. But I'm planning on putting um, putting some Fishmans in these. Um, but this guitar is amazing. This is actually relic like this. I've been playing it um, for since I we've used it on the last four or five records. Um, I put I'm using these uh, these I'm using an eight string right here, and um, I actually take out the 58 and the 10 and um, I'm using a, a 74 right here for that it's just nice and thick gives it like that kind of like nice slap back um, but this guitar has a, this is probably my favorite guitar it's not the flashiest or the coolest that I own but this one for whatever reason is like very important to me and special to me you know what I mean when you find that instrument you just kind of connect with it and plus uh, tonality wise this is um, I haven't found something that I like as much as the RGD baritone right here. Like Jose said, we've been a band for, you know, 15 years. I'm um, going back and forth for some of the more lead stuff. I'll pop up, um, you know what I mean, and um, kind of hit, you know what I mean, the, the more juicy, more, you know what I mean, jazzy. If I'm really shredding or sweeping or anything like that, you know what I mean, I go up to the bridge and every, or, um, and then down here, you know what I mean, I'm just popping down, so, um, yeah. Definitely, but this is a uh, this is a pretty sweet guitar. Definitely, my backup that I got right now for now is a um, Ibanez RG. This one got done custom for me, which is actually a beautiful guitar. Um, this is a Prestige 
Uh, this one got done um, in the LA custom shop. Um, I got two Fishmans in here. I got the Modern and the um, Devin Townsend uh, Signature Series. And um, yeah, this is, um, this is a true backup. I'm tuned to A, uh, drop A. And um, yeah, this one has been, it's got a couple, you know what I mean, a couple dings in it from, from road wear and tear. But um, I love this guitar. Uh, you know, one day this will be one of the guitars, probably hangs on my wall, you know what I mean? Like, tell stories like, oh yeah, I remember the days, you know. <laughs> but um, yeah, and same thing, um, I switch back and forth uh, for more of the high gain leads. You know what I mean? I stay, I stay, um, I stay down on the neck and then, um, you know, I can pop up just uh, for, you know, more shreddier stuff or whatever, but. Um, and same thing string wise, I'm doing the same thing for all of my setups. I'm using the 8 string pack. I really like the feel of a 74, even not on a baritone. Um, it just gives it that, you know, I, can, I feel like I have extra, I can dig a little bit harder, and it's, it's a man's guitar, you know what I mean? Definitely, so, yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Here we have our guitar racks and our playback. Uh, rig as well in our in ears. Uh, me and Zach both are using neural DSP quad cortexes. We switched these what in the last year? last year. Zach yeah. was on Kemper. I was on Kemper before as well, but I've had mine for probably two years, about a year longer than Zach, and love it. This is transposition stuff that we need. There's all the MIDI patch changes as well, and you can run multiple instruments through it. I've done tours like that too, where me and another guitar player are using one unit, so it's super handy. Um, I can record on the road with it as well, which is rad, so. My main, uh, let's see if I can get to a song like Trapped. I'm using the, essentially the Diesel Herbert on channel three. Um, I've got a capture of a Horizon Devices precision drive. And then for the cab impulse, I'm using uh, the Get Good, the Cali um, Mesa cab 412 with a 57 on it, it looks like. Um, and then that's my main rhythm tone for cleans. I'm using a Mesa Lone Star. Um, and for leads, I'm using a Friedman Brown Eye, I believe, BE100. Oh, what are yeah. using? I'm using a bunch of different stuff. Let's go to a different, uh, this is a good lead tone. Um, yeah, let's see where I'm at. I am on the Friedman uh, 100. Yeah. And, um, for a lot of the um, a lot of the rhythm stuff, um, the EVH fifty one fifty three, um, and and even before back in the day when I was um, actually using you know the the OG heads, yeah. uh, the fifty one fifty three was one of my favorites, um, along with the Powerball. You know what I mean? I always try to model after stuff like that kind of stuff that I've you know like yeah. Some other songs I use like a JCM eight hundred as well, which is yeah. the real amp that I use before I switch to digital. So. I can see you with the eight hundred for yeah. sure. Yeah, rockier kind of stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Rocky Road. Rocky Roads. Yep. Yes. These right here. Um, the one thing about the uh, the quad cores is the power doesn't have the three prong. It doesn't come with it. It's so not grounded. Yeah, yeah, it's not grounded. So Jose found this company. What's the company? It's called Sweet Foot, um, and it's the ISA base, and you can get it with a. It essentially, allows you to power your quad cortex with a IEC. So racking them is way better than having this little adapter wall ward that falls out constantly. Yeah. Um, and you can get it even to where it powers other pedals off of the one power supply. So you, say if you have it on a pedal board, you can power your whole setup uh, yep. with it. So anybody who's got a quad, I recommend that. We customized ours. I did the uh, the surfing Pikachu. And uh, mine is from Spaceballs, which is just like their standard. Uh, actually, I ordered something <laughs> different and that's what I got set. <laughs> but I was like, cool, Schwartz. Yeah. Schwartz. Yeah, absolutely. Other than that, it's uh, Shure ULXD wirelesses we got actually right before this tour with RF venue distro. We've been having uh, an awesome time with that. We had some yeah. old Sennheisers that we had to uh, replace. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's pretty much the guitar setup. Thank you guys so much for checking this out. We have a new single, New Reality, out. It's on all platforms. Um, you can request it on Octane uh, more and more again and again. And um, check out the Word Alive. Uh, we, we are the WordAlive.com for tour dates, and um, we hope to see you guys very soon. Thanks.